Hi everyone, I'm Claire. I'm going to show you how to make a sun compass and a sundial. Sun compasses were actually used by Apollo astronauts. We have one in our collection from Apollo 15 training. It's sometimes on display in our Space Oddities gallery. Apollo 15 was the first mission to use the lunar rover, which meant they could go further away from the lunar module. If they were to lose sight of the lunar module, they could use a sun compass to get back to their spacecraft. Normal compasses wouldn't work effectively on the moon, as it doesn't have a strong magnetic field. It is thought sun compasses date back to the 14th century, and some people even think that Vikings use them. It works by casting a shadow, using a gnomon, the small triangular flap that sticks up, it casts a shadow, just like on a sundial. Before you start this activity, make sure you got a nice sunny day without any clouds. Unfortunately, I didn't have that luxury, and it proved quite difficult to keep track of my shadows. I'm going to show you how you can make your own solar compass using a stick and some chalk. I'm using a piece of bamboo and I stuck it in a plant pot full of soil to keep it upright. I then marked the end of the shadow on the floor with my chalk, waited 15 minutes and made another mark. I repeated this several times. You should start to see the X's form a line. When you have enough marks, draw a line through them, like you're making a graph. I use my bamboo stick to draw a straight line. This becomes our east and west compass line. I drew another line at right angles to my east-west line to become my north-south line. Your shadow will move towards the east, so you can then work out which way is north and south. And there, the sun has helped you make your own compass. Now it's time for the sundial, so we can tell the time. To make this, I used a paper plate, but you could always cut out a circle of card. You'll also need something to decorate your plate with. I used colouring pencils. You'll also need a pencil and a marker pen. First, decorate your plate. I picked out some sun colours and just coloured it in how I wanted to, letting out my inner artiste. And when you finish decorating, take your sharpened pencil and poke a hole in the middle of the paper plate. Maybe get an adult to help you. It's a lot easier to poke a hole through when you don't have two plates stuck together. Then you need to add the gnomon, the thing that causes the shadow. You can use the pencil used to make a hole, or I got a reusable straw to use. Take your sundial outside and put it in the middle of your compass. Angle your gnomon slightly towards the north. Then, on every hour, write down the time where the shadow points. It's a really good way of seeing how shadows change throughout the day. Or if you're like me and the sun wasn't on your side, hopefully you get at least one time, like I did with three o'clock, and you can write the rest of the times on in relation to that one. And there you have your very own solar compass and sundial.